Hey guys, Mandy here, ready to do another unboxing video for you. So today's box is actually kind of a mistake because I didn't think that I hit submit when I was doing the online thing. Um, it is FabFitFun style. So I, I am a member of FabFitFun, <clears throat> and I saw that they did styling, and that included plus size, and I thought about giving it a try, and I was re reading about it, um, and I took the style quiz, but I never submitted it, like I never finished it, um, and I didn't think that it took, but then I got this in the mail, so... I guess it did. Um, I decided I wasn't going to do it because unlike Dia & Co and Stitch Fix, which I'm very familiar with, at least Dia & Co, Stitch Fix I've done a couple months, um, you take a style quiz and then that's it. You don't pin anything to your page. Like you could upload pictures of yourself in outfits so that they know what you like and what you don't like, but that's it. You don't, like, at Stitch Fix, you either thumbs up or thumbs down every day, multiple categories. And at Dia & Co, you can actually go through their selection of clothing and, like, love it with a heart, um, or go through the, the photos that other people have submitted and pin their photos to your page because you liked their outfit. And FabFitFun Style did not allow for the, any of that, um, so I just felt like they weren't going to be able to style me as well. Also, um, with Dia & Co. and Stitch Fix, they send you a prepaid return envelope USPS. So if you don't like anything or if you need to exchange it, you just put it in your mailbox. And FabFitFun, sorry, it's something in my eye. Um, that was not an option. <clears throat> you have to take what you want to return or exchange, and I believe exchanges are a little bit more difficult. Um, just looking at their checkout page. Sorry, I really do have an eyelash in my eye. Um, <clears throat> you have to return what you don't want to, a, you have to take it to a FedEx store, or a FedEx drop-off location. Um, and I'm lazy. I don't want to drive all the way to a FedEx place. Um, it's not my house. <laughs> I don't have to walk it out the front door. Um, so I wasn't going to do it. But I guess when I was doing the style quiz, um, I guess at the end, I didn't hit submit, but I must have hit something. So here it is. Um, and then as soon as I get this one done, we'll see how it goes. But I'm probably going to cancel. I can't imagine that I'm going to keep it, so um, let me go ahead and open it up for you guys. We'll look at them and then I'll try them on really quickly. If I can get it open. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, it comes and it looks like a little bit bigger version of the FabFitFun seasonal box. And then you open it up. Oh, it does have a prepaid envelope, but it's FedEx. So, it's nice and big. It will hold everything for sure. But it's still FedEx. I still have to take it to a drop-off place. Or, I don't know if I can call... I don't know if I can call them and have them pick it up. Or if... I have to drop it off at a FedEx place. I don't know. That's something that I will have to look into. So It's nice that they sent that at least. Okay. And then here's this. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Lovely video, Mandy. Looks like... Okay, so it's the... Um, the bill, the receipt, and then a little note for me. 
Hey Amanda, welcome to FFF Style. It was a pleasure to style you. I'm so excited to share this box with you, so I hope you love. Please feel free to share a Pinterest style board or some pics of styles you love to give us the best sense of your personal style. But I don't do Pinterest. <coughs> Mostly because I know I will become horribly addicted to it and I will never stop. So I'm really hesitant to start it. So I don't do that at all. I don't have anything to put on their board. If they don't give me options. Okay. Uh, I started you with our Lily Pull On Pont Pants. They are a good basic for work. Try the pants with the Rhonda Floral Print Top or with the Love Me Tender Pullover for a business casual look. The Elaine Cupro ribbed wrap dress can also be worn in your classroom or for a holiday party. Um, I did put on my um, profile uh, that I work at an elementary school. So um, layer it with the Julie faux suede jacket for extra warmth and style. I also included this cute perforated wallet you can throw in a tote bag or use as a clutch when going out. I cannot wait to hear what you thought of your box. Please let me know if there's anything you are on the hunt for. Hope the rest of your day is extra stylish. Kendra. <clears throat> and then it says, for exchanges, reach out to style at fabfitfun.com. So, um, yeah, you can't, exchange is not an option when you're checking out. Unlike D and Co. and Stitch Fix, which when you're checking out, you hit either keep, return, or exchange. Um, I was looking at it. Uh, from my email and it's just keep or return so I guess if it doesn't fit and I want to exchange it I have to email them first also you only have three business days um, which that's stitch fix as well but um, that's a little fast for me sometimes I don't get to these boxes as you guys know um, as fast as I would like to so it's a, it's a little rushed but um, okay <clears throat> So here's my items. Whoa. Right here. And then the clutch. So I'm actually going to start with the clutch. Right here. From the open. Um, hmm. Not really my style. Travel collection passport case. So this perforated wallet <clears throat> is $42. Um, like Dia and Co. and Stitch Fix, there's a $20 styling fee. It does come off the price of anything that you purchase from your box. Um, and if you keep all five items, you get 25% discount. So um, here's the wallet and it's I mean I like the wallet but I don't like the perforated I don't like that <laughs> I like all that that stuff's great but I don't like that especially for $42 I'm probably not going to keep this if I love everything else I'd be saving $83 so the merchandise total, I put two because it, it lets you put um, a price point for your box. And I put the lowest one, which is $150 a box. Um, and I put for the max $200 a box. This box merchandise total is $333. That's way, that's twice as much. Over twice as much as what I requested. Um, my keep all discount is $83.25. If I like everything else, it would be cheaper to keep this than return it. Um, so we'll just have to see how the, the clothes go. And then I can just sell this. Or see if maybe I could do a Christmas present with it. I don't know. I don't know if anybody would like this. Maybe you would like this? Yeah. <laughs> My daughter's in the background watching and she's going, You like that wallet? Mm -hmm. You think it's pretty? Yeah. She's got better taste than I do, guys, so it's very possible that if she thinks it's cute, and let me know in comments whether or not you think it's cute, but I need to know soon. 
Okay, I'm going to move on and show you the clothes and then I'll try them on. So here are the pont, pont pants that they were talking about. Now pants are really hard for me because I'm six foot tall. I'm a very tall girl. Um, I usually have to buy my, pla my pants that are long enough and actually hit the floor, which is how I grew up, where your pants were supposed to fit, um, at an online clothing company called Long Tall Sally. And they're very expensive. Um, but they fit. So I don't have that many, but they fit. <clears throat> I can buy some jeans from Lane, Bri Lane Bryant, which is plus size, and they have talls. Um, but I really need like a 34 inch inseam to hit the floor. Luckily for me, it's very fashionable now to have pants shorter than that, even long pants, not capris, but actually long pants, anywhere from ankle down. So even if they're a little bit short, what used to be considered high waters um, are now actually in fashion. So as long as I can find the right shoes to wear with them, they look cute. Um, so we'll see about these. I'm, I get nervous about pants from these companies. Um, yeah, no pockets, which I don't like, but I do like the material a lot. Basic black is perfect. Um, I can tell already they're not going to be long enough. Um, they're not skinny, so they're going to be hard for me to wear boots with, but we'll see. We'll see. I give everything a chance, so I want to give those a chance for sure. Um, I think the shirt that they wanted me to pair it with was this which is like a rusty orange and it's got gold stripes. I don't uh, I don't know about this, guys. Maeve, do you like this top? Yeah. I also don't know about these sleeves. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It like goes to here and then they're like pin tucked, roused a little bit and then it's down here and then the elastic. I'm not a huge fan of the elastic at the bottom because it's either super baggy and it looks weird or it's tight and it actually cuts off circulation to my arm. Um, so I'm not sure about that. I'm also not sure about this color. It's like a coppery with gold stripes. There's like literally gold stripes. I don't know if I put it up. If Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. And then this suede jacket, this is super soft. It's more like, um, it's called a suede jacket, but it looks more like a, um, I always lose the word for it. It starts with a C. Cardigan. It's almost more like a cardigan than a jacket. Again, no pocket. Oh, it does have pockets. But you'll see when I try it on. I saw a picture of it. Oh, the shirt. The shirt is Rhonda Floral Print Top. Color is Rust. And it is $19. So that's actually a really good price um, for a clothing subscription box piece article of clothing. They're usually, I mean, a good price is usually $30. And this is less than 20 so that's a really good price um but this is the suede faux suede jacket and it's 118 dollars Woo! that's expensive i don't think i've ever bought anything for 118 dollars from one of these boxes it's got kind of, um, the back of the arms is like this other material. It's not the faux suede. It's elastic-y. So, I'll try on that all as an outfit together. <clears throat> this is the dress. Let's see. Just a black basic, which is nice. It's a nice length. It's not super long. Um... The, tie, the side ties I always think look super cute and then I don't know if it's me or my body shape or what but I can never seem to get them to tie right. Elaine Cupro ribbed wrap dress. It's $50 so it's pretty normal for a dress. It's ribbed. It's like tiny ribbed. It's a yeah. It is closed right there, which is really nice at the 
cleavage. So I'm glad that it's closed there and I don't have to like safety pin it or wear a tank top necessarily. Like I said, I'm out of school. I can't be showing anything off. So I'll put that on separately. <coughs> Sorry. And then the last thing <clears throat> is this and it's super soft. Oh my. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, the style of it, I'm not a huge fan of. The cream and white um, crocheted look is not, that's not my style at all. But it is so soft. And, I mean, it is really cute. It's just not me. I can totally see some of my friends at work wearing something like this and looking fabulous in it and me be like, what a cute top, but I would never wear it. Um, also, looks like even as I unwrap it, it's got some pieces that are uncrocheting. I'm trying not to make it worse, but I wonder if I can tuck that back in there or if it's just... And if, if it's done that just in transit, oh yeah, I tucked it back in there for now. Then I, I, I don't want to have to be careful with a piece of clothing. I wear them. Sleeves might be long enough. I doubt it, but I really want to try it on because it's super soft. So I'm going to put that next to the dress. I'm going to try on um, I something. I'm going to try on something, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I tried on this super soft sweater first, and it's way too short for me. I'm just not comfortable. Um, this would be really cute on a skinny girl. I am not comfortable showing this much of my pooch and my booty. Um, I don't feel like it's flattering at all. I think it just makes me look even bigger than I am. I do love the texture and the material. I'm going to have my daughter try it on. Um, but if it doesn't fit her, we won't be keeping it. Um, this sweater is $56. And then the wallet that I don't really want to keep is 42 So that's more than I would save on the discount. So... And we'll see what the other ones look like. What the other ones look like too. But this, I'm just, I'm really, I would like, if it was like this much longer, it needs to be a lot longer for me. This is something I try to cover as much as possible. So, <clears throat> yeah. I won't be keeping it for me, but. Alright, I think I'm going to try the dress next and then the full outfit last. So, hold on just a sec. Okay, back again. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, um, yeah, I mean, there are things about this dress that I really, really, really like, but then there are things that I'm just like, nope. <coughs> I'm, I really like the sleeve length. A lot of dresses are either sleeveless or like three-quarter length or longer. I like that this is just like a short-sleeved dress, um, and that they're, they're, you know, they're kind of flowy. Um, I like the top, although, I pushed this down, when it's actually folded, the fold goes right over my chest, and it looks weird, so I pulled it down underneath, so it wouldn't do that, and then of course it folds there. I like the material, it's soft, it's very, um, thin, it's not thick at all. But I am super uncomfortable with how it fits on my body. So I'm not going to be keeping the dress. I'm not, I'm really just not comfortable with how it's fitting on me. Um, it, I think it is a cute dress and I, I do like it, but um, not for $50 when I have other black dresses that I like better. So. Okay, I'm going to try on the full outfit now, and we'll give that a shot.
<laughs> Hi, I'm back. <laughs> it didn't look like it was recording. Sorry, guys. It's just still here for a minute. So, I'm kind of torn on this, and I guess I have... I got the box on Thursday. I have to return everything on Monday that I don't want. So, I guess I have a couple of days to decide. But... I don't know, like I said, this jacket, it's almost more like a cardigan. There's no closure, so you can't, there's no buttoning of it or anything like that. I do like that it has pockets. I think it looks neat. Um, a couple things, I, I do like that the sleeves are long enough for me, which is odd because I am super tall, so sleeves are hardly ever long enough for me. I don't like how it's it's a little bit tighter up on the upper arms and so the shirt underneath it is all bunched up um, and even when I try to pull it down it doesn't really smooth I mean it smooths out but it's still bunchy thick looking um, I mean I've got thick arms but my jackets don't show it like that so I don't know plus it's $118 which I'm very very hesitant about I'm pulling my it's not coming off right. Um <clears throat> uh oh I'm buying it now. Just kidding. That was the shirt anyway and I can put it back on. Um so yeah I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check into that. I forgot to take my mirror down. I'll do that now. So it's not in your way and you don't see weird things happening. So this is the shirt. I really don't like these sleeves. You either pull them down and it's that, or you pull them up and then they're like little bells. Maeve, do you like the sleeves? They're okay. They're okay. Hmm. I like how long it is. And then when you pull it up, it doesn't stay. It slides down because the openings are so big. I like the length, but that's about it. The color's not too bad, but it's not something I would probably pick out on my own. The pants are super, 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 uber, uber, super tight. I look like I'm pregnant. I would definitely have to wear like some kind of long shirt or tunic with these pants. I, you know what guys, I don't think I'm going to keep anything. I don't think I'm going to keep anything from this box. I think my $20 styling fee is just going to go. None of it do I, I, I'm not in love with any of it. And none of it is just fits perfect or is perfect style or anything like that. Um, just a sec, hold on, I'm going to be closer. Okay. So, sorry, I messed with the camera and now it's all wonky. It was probably like that the whole time. Um, I think I just put it right back where it was. Nice editing job. Thanks. Uh, so anyway, uh, like I was saying, I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep any of it. I know they want me to post pictures of what I like and they want me to upload photos and they want me to put Pinterest boards and stuff like that, but I feel like that's their job. <laughs> At least it is a Diango and Stitch Fix, so I know that they're newer to the styling game, but I feel like they could maybe take a lesson from them. I'm going to cancel my Style Club um, membership. I'm going to keep FabFitFun for a while, but I'm going to cancel my Style membership because they. the other thing I did, didn't like is that they charge you the $20 styling fee a week before the box is shipped. So with Dianco and Stitch Fix, you pay it when you check out. But I guess they want to make sure that they get it before they ship you the clothes, which I kind of get, but again, I don't know. I feel like it's not really, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if I'm all wrong about all of it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the clothes. <clears throat> um, I don't think I'm going to keep any of it. I think I'm going to return it all. Even if I kept the, the clutch that Maeve likes, 
it's $42. The styling fee credit is $20. So it's still be $22 for that little wallet. What do you think? Mm. Cheaper one at Target? No. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button for my channel, Mandy's Mode, and hit the notification bell. This is my one and possibly only FabFitFun style box, if I can get out of it fast enough. Um... I don't know, maybe I'll give him one more shot. Maybe I'll post, pin some pictures or something to their, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm probably just going to cancel, honestly, guys. I just, I have DN Cone now, I have Stitch Fix, and I love them both, and my closet is very full, so I kind of doubt I, I keep going with it. Um, but I have other videos that I do post, a lot of unboxing videos, especially beauty products. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.